All right, man, I'm probably gonna butcher his name, but let's do a guy Guevara tier list. Sorry if I messed up his name, I don't know how to say it. Um, yeah, I tried to get as much of his music as I can, tried to put it into this tier list, got his EPs, got his mixtapes that are on streaming, some that I found on YouTube, I found one on SoundCloud, he has a beat tape on, on his website. Also, sorry, cause it's windy over here, trying to record. Yeah, so if you hear any background noise, I'm sorry, that's kinda out of my control. Yeah, let's just get into it. Let's start off in D tier with easily his worst projects, Westernophobia and Opeel. I'll put Opeel under it because that one has like this weird guitar song that I wasn't the biggest fan of. Both of these albums sound really half-baked and really messy. Um, I'm pretty sure they both gave me headaches when I listened to them. Something about Gaius's voice on these records just sound, it just sounds weird for some reason. Like he sounds like super buried in the mix and it just kind of sounds like he's, ra he, like he raps kind of in a weird voice, but it just, it just, I don't know, he just sounds irritating on these albums. And the production, as I said, is just really sloppy. Some of the samples on here are super annoying. And in all honesty, these songs just sound insanely incomplete. Um, I'm so glad he's come far from this because both these albums aren't that great, to be honest with you. I might go as far as to say that these are bad albums. Uh, they aren't truly awful though. I'll give them like strong fours, I guess. They're cool, but like, I don't know. I don't know why I'd listen to these ever again. Then going in C tier is that B tape I was talking about. Um, good Eats beat tape. All I have to say about this one is Good Eats more like Good Beats because they are good beats. Um, it's like a light seven for me. As I said, just good beats. Then in B tier, we have his most recent album, uh, Goyard Coming Exordium. I listed this as like one of my favorite albums of 2023 and my 2023 vid. And to be honest with you, like at first I was like, oh, I really like this. Then I re-listened to it. I was like, oh, I love this album, man. Then I re-listened to it and it grew off me. Uh, now it's just, uh, I like this album still, but not as much. Uh, it's a quality release. I really hope he changes his sound though. It's just more that sample based kind of crunchy sounding production, which is cool and I really like, but I just want him to change up his sound a little. Maybe go in that more drill direction that he exhibits on a few other albums. Because on here, it just kind of feels like he's doing the same stuff he was doing on There Will Be No Super Slave, which I'll talk about later. It just kind of sounds like he's doing the same stuff over and over again. Uh, this record is still really good though. It's still quality, still really like listening to it. I just wish he changed up his sound, you know? Despite my criticism though, this is still a great album, as I said. It's like a decent eight for me. It's a very good album, but you know, it doesn't hold the candle to everything that came before. We got a pretty underrated one, that being Black Psychiatric Negligence. Uh, this one's gonna go in A tier. This might move up and down as the list goes on. We'll see, I feel like there's four albums that are pretty close for me. But um, this record here though is easily one of his best. I think that it's super consistent. I think the sampling on here is super good. I, th I think he's at one of his peaks in terms of rapping. He's just going off on these really raw, really sample heavy beats and I really enjoy it, man. It's super fun, it's super consistent and it's just super fire. He doesn't pull any punches on this record. He's just giving you just straight fire. Uh, this record's really good, man. It is a light nine for me. I really enjoy this one. Then under, actually under Black Psychiatric Negligence, I'll put Jobs Not Finished Pack but above it, I'll put Black August back. Like his EPs are really fun because you could just throw them on and they're like 10 minutes long. But I feel like uh, Jobs Not Finished Pack, it's a little incomplete. I think there's like the third song. I'm not the biggest fan of that song, but everything else on there is really fire. Really like the first track. Last track's really cool too. I listen to that one quite often. And then Black August Pack, here's my thing with it. I used to have this in like B tier, but then I re-listened to it and I was like, man, that hit. The samples on here are amazing. There's that one song, I forgot what it's called. I think it's the third track on here. The third track on this one is crazy good. Um, I really like the sample on there. His rapping is insane. Uh, both EPs are very good. I just think Jobs Not Finished is a little weaker. Um, Jobs Not Finished is like a light nine. It's like a strong eight to a light nine. I could see this one going in B tier actually. I'll keep it in A though. And then Black August Pack is a decent to strong nine. Very great EP. And then we got May Your Melon and Shield You from Ragnarok. I'm sorry this is a little messy. I'm just kind of going, this is kind of like, I don't really have a structure to this part because I feel like these projects are all kind of on the same level for me. I'll put this one, I'll put this one under, I'll put it under Black Psychiatric Negligence. Uh, this is another great album. I think it starts a little weak, but it just, it just picks up, man. I love the production on here. It's super punchy, especially on that opener. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but the beat is crazy good. A lot of short songs on here. It just flies by, man. Super consistent. Super, it's just more black psychiatric negligence, but with more of like a kick to it, you know? It's super fire, super punchy, and just, guys, he sounds really alive on here. Um, really like this album, man. It's also a light to decent nine for me. It's a very good album. 
Then above Black August Pack, I'll throw There Will Be No Super Slave. This one's just progressively growing off me as time goes on. The average length for a guy you sell album is like 20 or 30 minutes, but on There Will Be No Super Slave, um, it's 45, I think. And he plays with the time quite well. I don't think there's any filler on here. I just think that there's some really big highlights, but the rest doesn't really hold a candle to set highlights. Um, it's super consistent though. I think that if you just cut this down to like 30 minutes, this would probably be an S tier. It might be his best album because the highlights on here are amazing, dude. Uh, super fiery production. He really goes in that drill sound on the best songs on here with these really just like, just these really punchy, not even punchy, just really like booming drums. I really love those beats, man. Um, his rapping is fire. He does do some more low-key cuts on here, though. I'm pretty sure there's like a more introspective cut on here near the back end. Uh, that song's really good. I like the interludes on here. It's really cool how he plays with the time on here. I don't think he overstays his welcome at all. I just think if you cut this down, um, it would be probably his best because all the highlights would kind of be put at the forefront. Um, it's, it's still a great album, though, man. Really good album. It's like a light to decent nine for me. Really like this one. Then in S tier, it is his breakout mixtape, Black Bolshevik. Uh, this thing's freaking amazing, man. 25 minutes, and it just flies by. Every song on here hits. Every song has a fantastic sample, has fantastic rapping. It's, it's just so good, man. If you have not heard the third song on this album, um, just, just listen to that song right now. F the Nordic Model, bro. Listen to that right now. If you have not heard that song, listen to it right now. That's an amazing song. You also got that one track on here with like that scream sample on it. It goes like... Rah! like that that sample is amazing got the second track on here one meal a day type beat it took a while for that song to click with me but then it did and i was like bro he just he he goes off on that beat man uh it's super consistent the samples on here are fantastic and it just feels like so of the moment like he was just like whatever man like you look at his band camp he's like things haven't been doing great lately here's this or whatever or he just says something like that and that's how it feels that's how this album sounds it's super just like of the moment just whatever i don't care i'm gonna put this out and it's fire man this album's amazing i'm feeling a decent to strong nine on this one it's a fantastic record i just think it's kind of been growing off me as time goes on and there's my guy squavara tier list as i said i'm sorry if i butchered his name and i'm sorry if you heard wind noises in the back i'll try to link some of the projects that aren't on streaming in like a pinned comment i'll probably get all the ones i can find put it there because i feel like people should be listening to this stuff especially black psychiatric negligence that's a freaking great album man and i hope people listen to that like if you take anything away from this video if you've heard his stuff on streaming go listen to that project because that project's freaking fire so yeah just share your rankings in the comments as always man glad you made it this far in the video and i hope to see you in the next one bye